Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if I'm talking low, it's because I'm filming at 11.30 at night. I hope you guys saw. And if I look crazy, I have braces now. So that's why I'm still adjusting to them. If, it, if this is only my third day with them, so bear with me. But anyway, I did the semi cut crease look. It's gonna be a voiceover and I was inspired by Kay Rouser Davis. She's here on YouTube and IG. I follow her, she does some amazing looks. Um, so shout out to you. I will have her channel linked below and her IG. And that's about it. Check the description for lots of information. As always, subscribe if you haven't. I have new videos every week and I hope you enjoy. And about it okay i hope you guys enjoy this look get into it and thank you so much for watching so guys as usual i started with the brows and i used the ruby kisses hd um gel liner and the la pro conceal in fawn to carve out my brows and i set it with that fit me powder so we're gonna go into this semi cut crease it and it's not as hard as it might seem I'm just showing you I'm using the Morphe palette and you'll see the other palette that I am using. I just took a warm brown shade, went up in my crease and I just like to have a nice crease color, a nice warm crease color. And then I'm going to show you the palette that I'm going to start using. I was going for a purple look, but as you can see, it didn't it did not turn out that way. So, um, this is a mixture of Urban Decay shadows and Coastal Scent shadows, and I'm going in with that first purple that I pointed out. Now I'm going to go in with a crease brush and put it into my crease. And yeah, I'm just kind of carving out like the crease portion of the cut crease. Get it? Kurt? Anyway, <laughs> I'm putting that purple right over, literally right over that brown I just did. Um, and because I primed and set my eye with the Fit Me powder and um, a nice warm brown crease color, that really made it um, smooth and even for me to put over this purple crease color. And so I'm just going back and forth. And you'll notice I go back and forth between my eyes to make sure they're even um, and the color is as deep as I want it, as rich as I want it. And I'm going in with an even deeper purple that looked kind of dark blue, but it's a really deep purple, bluish purple. And um, I'm just going to put that in the crease. And <laughs> that face was so when I first put it on, I was like, wow, because these coastal scent shadows are really pigmented. Um, this one in particular was a little powdery, but it was still so pigmented that I didn't mind. Um, but there definitely is fallout. So that's why I tend to always do my eyes first. Like I love to do my eyebrows, my eyes first. Um, if I do my face first, it's because I'm not doing anything with my eyes. Because I just like, it really helps to keep like clean under the eyes because you have to do foundation still. So I'm just, you can just see the shape I'm creating in the outer corner. And now this is where I'm cutting the crease, honey, with that same concealer I used around my eyebrows, LA Pro Conceal in Fawn. That's my shade. I need like three of them on hand at all times. All times. <clears throat> I am cutting the crease. I'm basically, you've seen me do this in um, previous tutorial tutorials recently because I've been loving the cut crease look. Um, I'm just putting it over my mobile lid. And I'm keeping my eye open, as you can see while I'm doing it, because I have hooded eyes. So I want you to be able to see my lid color while my eyes are completely open. And sometimes if I put color just on my lid, I can get lost in the way my eye is shaped. So that's why I keep my eye open so you can see all this work that I'm doing while my eyes are completely open um, as normal. So I bring my crease up a little bit. But at the top, you can still see that hint of purple, that, that cut crease part, essentially. And um, I'm just perfecting it, going back and forth, adding, getting it the opacity that I want. And then I lay down this teal color. 
Now, let me tell you, this is where I went left real quick because it was originally supposed to be like a purple, all purple cut crease look. But in the pan, it kind of gave me that duo chrome vibe. Like it was like a teal, but it had a, a duo chrome of lavender. So I don't know. I just picked it up and I'm like, okay, this is going to be lavender on my lid, like a lighter purple. But obviously, no. Um, it's still, I still like the way it came out. As soon as I put it on my lid, I was like, oh my gosh, but I didn't like show it on camera. <laughs> but, um, I like the way it came out and it's so funny that my background for that, for that day was teal. Um, it just worked out and I like the way it looked, but I still, I think I'm still go back and try to do all purple like I had intended in the first place, but I'm just packing it on where I put the concealer over. Um, deepening my crease and then I'm going in I'm sorry I didn't point it out another purple shade from that same colorful palette I have of coastal scent shadows and I'm just putting it um, in between that crease color and the darker purple sorry I'm a little bit out of frame and I'm just blending blending and then I'm doing my brow bone highlights same creamy like cream shade from the morphe 350 palette right on my brow bone I just sit it there and then I take the first brush that I use the very first brush with the warm brown and I'm just blending it out the edges and now I'm onto the face I'm showing off my braces <laughs> and I am blending out my foundation Maybelline fit me in mocha and Milani color perfect and perfect yeah color per no color perfect excuse me color <laughs> perfect I think it's the same way anyway in um amber so I have the lighter shade the Milani in the center of my face and the darker shade on the outer portions of my face just to know kind of start the highlighting and contouring process already I have a whole foundation video I was about to sneeze right here <laughs> But I guess it just wasn't ready to come out. Um, I was about to... I usually cut out my foundation and concealer and all that because I have a whole foundation um, highlight and contour video where I kind of explain it. That's a little bit older though. I can do an updated one. So if you're interested in um, learn, wanting to know how I um, highlight and conceal and do my foundation and all of this right here like me explaining in detail just let me know in the comments and I'd be so happy to do that for you guys but um kind of just I don't know follow along and see what I'm doing like where I'm putting it the concealer the lighter portions bringing out the face and then I'm gonna go in and set it and bake um, I'm blending it out right now. I was vibing to um, Adele right here. That oh, that song with the drums. I I think it's I Miss You or you know what I'm talking about. Where the intro with the drums is just awesome. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm just blending it out and then I'm going to be setting it with Sasha Buttercup Powder. None other. That's my favorite. And Ben Nye Banana Powder. Those two are amazing and I'm running low so I need to get some more. But I'm just blending it out with my Real Techniques blender. <clears throat> Excuse me. With my Real Techniques blender. Beauty blender. But it's not really a beauty blender because it's a Real Techniques sponge. But I'm blending it out and then I'm going to start setting the face. And I'm just going to make sure everything is smooth and flawless and set. And this is where I'm going to really get to contour. And I'm um, highlighting my jawbone as well because that really gives me a nice contour in pictures. It makes my cheeks look snatched. Um, I really love doing that, but I don't do that on an everyday basis. And also, I'm bringing my, the setting powder right up against my nose on the sides. Um, and that will help to start contouring my nose. But I put the powder down the uh, center of my nose a little too wide. Um, and it made it a little bit harder to contour because, in fact... If you do it the wrong way, like I did today, it can make your nose look whiter instead of slimmer. So I'm just setting all these areas with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. That is my skin tone. And then I'm going to go in with a warm brown shade from the Morphe palette, actually, to cut these cheeks. Yes, I was shocked. Not shocked, but I forgot how pigmented they were. So I had to go in, uh, you know, blend them out really well. And, you know, 
chisel these cheeks, chisel this round face. Um, that's why I love contouring. So I am just blending it really up against my hairline. And you can see the face kind of taking shape already. And then I'm going in to contour my nose. And because I put the powder a little bit wider than I um, usually do, I'm spending a little bit more time trying to bring it in to slim the nose down. Because, yeah, I created more work for myself. I'm dusting away all of the powder now. Um, I don't like to have it set for a, too much of a long time. Um, and I'm just really making sure it's all brushed away because we don't want that crazy casket ready flashback look. So we got to brush it all away, going back with my contour and, you know, just making sure everything's smooth. And then I'm going to go on to my lips. Um, but before I do that, I'm definitely going to have to put on some highlight, you know, I have to, I'm using my favorite go-to that is hanging on by a thread cause it already fell out, but I'm um, luckily it stayed in one piece. Um, Mac superb. It's, um, it was a limited edition skin finish. I went on the tops of my cheeks, the center of my nose. I'm going to go on my cupid's bow and on my chin and I'm going to be glowing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was loving the way I was glowing. <laughs> so I'm just dusting that highlight on. I didn't choose to do blush today because I don't know why. I am using Jordana's Lip Liner in Coco Moco. I always get it wrong. It is not Coco Moco. Coco Loco, I think. It'll be in the bottom bar. Everything will be in the bottom bar. The description below. Whatever you want to call it. Um, everything that I use and it cuts off right when I'm applying my Jordana sweet cream um, lip in cinnamon toast I'm so sorry but you still will see the finished look but it's gonna cut off in a couple of seconds of me about to applying it but you will still see the finished look and also I added some concealer because I didn't want it um, just the way it was I added concealer to make it more nude and this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the blog. And check out my latest video. Go ahead, click there. 